Yo, what's going on out there, YouTube family? This is Samuel Leggett representing Team JVS. Looking at, or just got done looking at episode two, The Child. Um, if you haven't looked at the first episode or this episode, I apologize. There will be spoilers because there's no way to not talk about the elephant around. And I'm talking about this little baby Yoda, basically. Like, I don't know <laughs> if they cloned Yoda or what, but that's what seems like is the situation. Now, how he ended up on this planet and hidden, I have no idea. But this is post Empire. If that's the case, like Yoda's been gone. He's been dead. Um and it's just fascinating to me that this little man got so much power. Like he he is already force sensitive and a force user. Matter of fact when um man Lord was trying to, you know, mend himself like he tried to go and heal his his wound he kept on putting him back um this was a really good episode um it was really action oriented the first one set a good foundation of where things could go i didn't have a problem with the first episode i thought the first episode was great this one was just like another tag on to where things are gonna go nick nolte does a great job at that creature um he's a goat for real for real like he helped the mandalorian get to where he needed to get to but just that chase scene with him trying to get get to get to these little guys and like they just were going at him like it was a really dope chase scene but then i low key thought man like this man about to die for real for real. when he went to try to go get that egg and that that basically that space rhino charged him i was worried for that man and this is the funny thing the imagery with this looks better than what's the uh, when Finn and Rose went to the casino planet, those creatures and the way they look versus just this rhino creature and everything else, the practical applications of this, it's like night and day, bro. Like they, they did that thing. The other thing is soundtrack. Soundtrack is actually <laughs> really good. Um, everything about this episode is just nuts, but the fact that this is a baby Yoda, essentially, I don't know what this means or where things are gonna go. And it leads me to believe that the Jedi are gonna have to be involved in some capacity. Now, because this is after the Empire, it means this is before the Force Awakens, which could mean that, I mean, there's no way that Luke's gonna be involved. Luke was the last Jedi. So there's no Jedi can help outside of the Jedi that were the Padawans that escaped Order 66. Now this could tie into um, your boy Cameron Monaghan's character. That would be dope. That would be amazing, to be honest with you. But, um, oh, um, your boy Rick that was supposed to direct uh, the Flash movie. He directed this episode. Really great job. Um, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys thought. I thought it was great. I think the, the visuals are amazing. I think the action is on point. And it's just, it's a really good show. Matter of fact, this is the way I feel about it. This is what I felt when I started looking at Star Trek. When Star Trek Next Generation first started, like, you didn't know where things were going to go. It was just continuously moving and building. And this honestly has a capacity of doing the same exact thing. Even if they went four seasons straight, like, if they take their time and really build this, this could be amazing. So, um, I loved it. Hope you guys enjoyed it too. I'll talk to you guys later. Keep it locked. JVS Wing will stop. Peace, guys.